Okay, I am here at the loop today in Rose Woods near the wheat field. And I am looking at, I'm going to talk about a regiment that was from Philadelphia, known as the 118th Pennsylvania Volunteers. Now here at the Battle of Gettysburg, they were commanded by Colonel James Gwynn, who originally was a member of the 23rd Pennsylvania before resigning his commission when this regiment here was being mustered in uh, in 1862. Now, the regiment was mustered in on August the 30th, 1862. Some records also say, and one of their other monuments here say August 31st, but August 30, August 31st, 1862. Now, this particular regiment participated in pretty much all the major battles here in the East from... Um, Antietam through Appomattox Courthouse. Um, they were known as the Corn Exchange Regiment. Now, in Philadelphia, where they were recruited, these were merchants that sold different products, probably one of them being corn, but um, they sold products at an exchange, which later also would turn into a, a banking corporation called the Corn Exchange Bank of Philadelphia. Um, the building is still there today, and it still has Corn Exchange National Bank uh, on the top. I'll try to post some pictures of it as well. Um, this particular regiment has three monuments here at Gettysburg. Um, here on the first day, um, after being on the Baltimore Pike, the regiment was moved um, over near where the Pennsylvania Monument is today. But they made their way into this position here um, in Rose's Woods. Now, Rose's Woods, the Rose Farm is just beyond here in the trees. Um, and they were here on July 2nd of 1863. And this is where they fought, right here where their monument is placed today. After uh, the battle here during the day on the wheat field, the regiment was then moved in this direction to the wheat field road and it was placed over there um, in reserve. And then on July 3rd of 1863, the regiment was moved to the northern slope of Big Round Top, where they actually have a third monument. And we'll take a look at all three of the monuments and their position. Now, the 118th Pennsylvania was under the brigade command of William Tilton. And just over here, is the brigade marker which mentions uh, Tilton as well as the uh, other regiments that were in the brigade. Um, and as I mentioned, uh, these, this area is known as Rose's Woods. Now that we've moved away from the monument over here next to the first Michigan, in the distance you can see the Rose Farm. So you can see the proximity to the Rose Farm to the 118th Pennsylvania Corn Exchange Monument here in Rose Woods at the Loop. We'll look uh, at the second monument, which is placed just in the distance over here along the Wheatfield Road. And then we'll make our way to Big Round Top over here, where there's a third monument on the northern side of Big Round Top. So again, this has been our look at the 118th Pennsylvania Volunteers, the Corn Exchange Monument, here on Gettysburg Historic Walking Tour. I am here near the wheat field, and I'm gonna talk a little bit about this one particular uh, regiment of soldiers known as the 118th Pennsylvania Volunteers, nicknamed the Corn Exchange Regiment. Now their monument, or one of their monuments rather, sits here along the wheat field road. There's the wheat field. Um, and in the distance behind me, you can see the Trussell Barn and farm. And then beyond that, the Sherfy Barn. So they were engaged here. This was their second position uh, on July 2nd of 1863. They were engaged here at the wheat field. They were members of the 1st Brigade, the 1st Division of the 5th Corps. And then after the fighting here at the wheat field, this regiment um, moved in this direction, um, and this is after Devil's Den and Little Round Top, into the evening they were moved up the slope 
uh, the northern side of Big Round Top. And today they have another monument, which we'll go there and take a look at shortly. And, and that monument will depict um, a lot more information about the men as far as their casualties, their original roster of 960 men that they were um, mustered into service on August 31st, 1862, and they were mustered out of service on June the 1st, 1865. Um, that monument is much bigger than this one. It is rarely seen because of its location on Big Round Top along an old walking trail, the original trail that went up to Little Round Top that the early visitors and the veterans themselves of the regiments used that is no longer used today. So we'll take a look at that in our next video uh, as we enjoy the, the sights here along the Wheatfield Road here at this monument of the Corn Exchange Regiment, also known as the 118th Pennsylvania Volunteers. This is your historian, Frank Patrick Murrow, Jr., here for Gettysburg Historic Walking yeah, Tour. I am here on the face of Big Round Top, which would be the northern face, and I'm looking at the original walking trail that came down from the top of uh, Big Round Top, the original walking trail, which we did a video back in the past. And today I want to talk about this monument here that's in the middle of nowhere. This is the 118th Pennsylvania, also nicknamed the Corn Exchange Regiment. Now they were members of the 1st Brigade, the 1st Division of the 5th, and they were mustered into service on August 31st, 1862 in Philadelphia. And then they were mustered out of service on June the 1st, 1865, after the war was over in Virginia. This monument is erected in honor by the Commercial Exchange, uh, which was formerly known as the Corn Exchange, and they were out of Philadelphia. These were Philadelphia soldiers um, who sold products at the Corn Exchange. And the surviving members of the Corn Exchange, who later became soldiers of the 5th Corps, 1st Brigade, 1st Division, mustered in as the 118th Pennsylvania, nicknamed the Corn, Reg Corn Exchange uh, Regiment, placed this monument here at one time, which was the walking trail that would get the veterans and early visitors up to the slope at the top of Big Round Top, where you'll also find monuments from the 5th Pennsylvania Reserves, the 12th Pennsylvania Reserves, the 119th Pennsylvania, and also the famous 20th Main Regiment under the command of Joshua Lawrence Chamberlain, Colonel Chamberlain, who led them here. And the reason that this monument today is not very well visited is because of its location. Uh, in 1948, when they removed the tower from the top of Big Round Top, this pathway that you see over here was no longer used to get to the top. And currently the modern pathway uh, which is paved as used today, which took visitors away from this area of the woods and also away from seeing this monument. And this monument is very beautiful. It has a, a depicting backpack with the 118th Pennsylvania Volunteers with a blanket roll on top. And it has the nickname of the regiment here, the Corn Exchange Regiment. And then it has this beautiful granite etching of the corn right here that you see. And of course the unit symbol, the clover, which was the 5th Corps. And then it also mentions their position in the 5th Corps, which was the 1st Brigade and 1st Division, which meant that these men would have worn as their Corps badge, the clover leaf in the color of red, red being number one. On one side, it mentions what I had already talked about, that it was, uh, erected by the surviving members of the Corn Exchange. On the back side here, it mentions their muster in and muster out, and then of course, their casualties. Killed in battle, 205, wounds and disease, 500, missing in action, 273, original muster of 960 men, 456 recruits, and a final muster of the original members, original members of nearly a thousand men, only 139. And then here on the back side, um, 
it mentions their actions here at the Battle of Gettysburg. They were on July 2nd, where their monument is today, uh, at the advance of the wheat field on July 2nd, and then came here along with the 20th Maine uh, on July 2nd into the 3rd, and they actually remained here in this position on July 4th. I do want to note the back of the monument, the backpack is actually held up by three cannonballs, and that depicts the heavy artillery action that were all around this area on July 2nd and even on July 3rd, where artillery that was placed all around Devil's Den and the wheat field and Little Round Top was coming up into this area, this being the lower half of Big Round Top. So again, today we're taking a look here at a very unlikely visited monument on the Gettysburg Battlefield, the 118th Pennsylvania, also known as the Corn Exchange Regiment from Philadelphia. This is historian Frank Patrick Marone Jr. here on Gettysburg Historic Walking Tour.